This is Sports Center with L. Duncan and Kevin Nagandi. Welcome into Sports Center. Ahead, action packed 60 minutes. Uh, the very latest injury update for a key player in Sunday's NFC title game. Plus, what's different about Patrick Mahomes during this postseason run? And Kevin PTI is back in minutes with who's to blame for James Harden seemingly perpetual frustration. Bad. It means we're going to get a real treat. Uh, Matthew Stafford. <laughs> Tickling 600 yards, four passing touchdowns, and zero interceptions in the playoffs. Two touchdowns last week against yeah. the Bucks. What do you think that he did against the Bucks that's transferable into this game? So the San Francisco 49ers play a zone defense. Number one, coverages when it comes to the zone concepts against the 49ers, he's going to have to move guys to help guys get open. And he's going to have to read the body language to say, you might be said he does really well. He's going to have to be excellent this weekend against that 49ers defense. With Great him. breakdown there from Dan Orlovsky. With the win, Stanford would be the seventh quarterback to start a Super Bowl in his first season with the team, but only two have actually won. Tom Brady and mm. go back to 2000. Trent Dilfer. Trent Dilfer. He Jinx, you owe me a Coke. Thanks, Dan. Cool, cool. Thank you. So, Kevin, Antonio Brown's public feud with the Tampa Bay Bucks has now outlasted the team's season. Two days after Tampa's playoff loss, Brown and his attorney spoke to HBO about their potential next steps in battling what they say are lies told about him by his former employer. Dan Murphy has more in tonight's Sports Center report. Chef, we're going to bring in two reporters, Michelle Steele, who's covering the Bengals for us, and Jeremy Fowler, who's bringing in the Chiefs. But I'm going to start with you, Michelle. Week 17, because this is a rematch, as we all know, Joe Burrow threw four touchdowns in a Bengals win over the Chiefs. So how does he look back on that win? And of course, Joe Burrow pokes the bear by saying, I don't know, nothing's louder than the SEC. By the way, Bengals trying to do something that they've never done, win three straight playoff games. Jeremy Fallon, what's their week of preparation looked like? That secondary certainly needed them uh, against the Bills. The Chiefs, by the way, 7-1 and one in home playoff games in the last four seasons. However, the Bengals, small sample size, undefeated in conference championships. Mr. January 25th. 2020. The headline that night, LeBron passes Kobe Bryant in his native Philly for third on the all-time scoring list. Kobe marking the occasion with a tweet, continuing to move the game forward, King James. Much respect, my brother. It would be his final one. We all know what happened the next morning. The ripple effects felt worldwide, a collective grieving for one of the greats. And now, on the second anniversary of his death, Stephen A. Smith remembers the Black Mamba and how his legacy on the court and off of it will live on forever. It is hard to believe it's been two years. Our thoughts are with uh, the nine members' families, uh, Vanessa, uh, of course, and, and the girls. Uh, you know, a couple years ago it happened. And you were on the set with us here on the show, and you talked about your girl dad story mm -hmm. and Gigi yeah. and, and how it related to you when you were expecting it. And it moved so many people because of that, that idea that Kobe wasn't a player. You were talking to a human being who was a father. Yeah. I, that's always what resonates the most with me about that conversation was just like, there, you know, at first I'm like, this is Kobe Bryant. Mm -hmm. um, but it very clearly became just a couple of people talking about their kids and the love of their kids. And I just, I appreciate so much the, the fathers around the world that yeah. showed so much love and amplified women and girls and how important they are. And I hope that you continue that same energy because for Kobe, it was a lifestyle. Absolutely. He did it in every place of his life. So, uh, yeah. I understand it, I can't explain it. Listen, I can explain it. People like doing things like this and it's fun and that's great, but no one cares about your Wordle results. So miss me with that. Down, down there.